Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on integrating an interactive user-friendly database explorer to view all of our data within our Django applications. So here is a sample image here of what you can see here. So this is going to be based on data that is within your database. And what you can also do is you can go on ahead and set various filters here to just evaluate your data. And you can also get like a copy of it by downloading it as a CSV file, for example. All right, so let's get started. Now to get started, you just want to ensure that you have a Django application that you want to integrate this with and that you also have some data within your models that have been filled out, so some objects. Right, okay, so what we can do is go ahead and install this library. So I'm going to copy that. And we can just run pip install Django data browser. So we just want to install that library. Okay, so it might take a moment. And there we go, it has been installed. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to look at the next set of steps. So we can go to installation. And we can see the first thing we did was install Django Data Browser. Now we need to add the Data Browser library to our list of installed apps. So I'm going to copy the following. I'm going to go to my settings.py file. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it in. So data underscore browser. Right, now we can add in the URL for data browser, and this is also going to be integrated behind the scenes of our Django admin as well. So we can go ahead and copy the following pass. And you want to go to urls.py file, and you want to go ahead and add that in. Okay, now do keep in mind here that it utilizes the include function, so make sure that you've imported it from django.urls, very important. Right, after you've done so, you can go ahead and run python manage um, migrate. So you can migrate all the default database files that comes in play with this library data browser. I'm going to copy the following. And we can just go ahead and say python manage migrate. There we go. Great, so that functionality is in place. And now we can actually go ahead and test it. So what we can do is head on over to our Django admin. So make sure your server's running. Okay. Then we can just say forward slash admin. And now you want to enter in your super user credentials. If you're unsure of how to do that, I'll show you how you can quickly do so. So you can just stop your server and just say python manage.py create super user. You want to give a username to your super user, so I want to say honor2, skip email, enter in a password. And again, so keep in mind your super user credentials, then rerun your server. Okay, refresh Django admin, and then you want to enter in those credentials for that super user that you just created. All right, and once you've done so, you can log in. Okay, perfect. Now you'll notice that the data browser um, app here is now registered. Now to access it, you just need to be logged into your Django admin. You don't have to go on ahead and access it this way. So this is just going to tell you that, hey, data browser has been set up. Okay, so we can essentially just log out now. And now what I want to do is go ahead and copy this URL here. So data-browser. Then you can go ahead and just append that like so. So your local host and then data-browser. Then that's going to prompt you to go automatically to your Django admin. And that's going to allow you to view this dashboard right here. So again, go ahead and enter in your credentials, and now you're going to want to access data-browser. Okay. All right, so once you've entered that in, you can log in. Okay, and here you are. So this is officially now your Django data browser. So here you can see a list of the models that you have for your application. 
So we can see we have the default user model, the group model, and here web app is my custom Django app with the associated model, which is custom and it is called customer. I can select that. And here you can see, you can view all of your data. And here on the left-hand side, it's going to show all of the relevant fields that pertain to your particular model that you selected. So this is the customer model from the Django app called web app. And to see this in a different light, I can show you in this way. In my application, you can see I have a Django app called web app, which coincides with what's listed here, dot customer and customer of course, is my custom model that I created called customer. And we can see all the fields or attributes. So account created first name, last name, email, phone, ad phone address, city, uh, province, country, etc. And of course, that is all listed out here. And I can, of course, select that. And I can just go ahead and click on it. And here I can see the ID is already listed. And I can add when I want to um, view here as well. So the address, the city, country, email, first name, last name, phone. And province, so here it's going to output all of the details that I have for this particular model in terms of all of the objects that I have created. All right, and of course you can remove certain parts here that you don't wish. So if I don't want to see the country, I can just go ahead and select that and it will go on ahead and do the same thing. Now there are other options that you can go ahead and experiment with, such as count is null, length, etc. And you can also utilize certain parts in terms of the ID. If you want to see the average count, null, max, min, um, functions and such. Now what you can also do, like I mentioned, is you can also download this as a CSV file if you want it to be in that sort of format. Of course, there are other options as well, such as viewing it as JSON, SQL query, and we can see here there's a limit. So if you only want to see a certain amount of records or objects, let's say you have 20 objects, but you only want to see 10, you can go ahead and just alter that and then it's going to adjust for you in play. Okay, so this is a very helpful tool that you can utilize in your Django projects if you just want to see your data in a more visual format. So as you can see, um, the data is a little bit more concrete, a little bit more visual in terms of just the default how can I say Django admin that just lists everything for you in a certain light. All right. Now there are also additional settings that you can add into place here. So if we scroll down here, you can see that, let's just zoom out a tad bit. There are some settings here and it also shows the default. Of course, you can set this up in your settings.py file if you just want to set certain properties here in place in terms of what you want to utilize. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.